some of the results of the patients I inject all the key. Dr. Ita Mabatser, I'm a senior surgeon, orthopedic surgeon from the Rambo Medical Center. And what I wanted to do is uh, to estimate the results of the orthokin injections I do, uh, and to try and find any kind of factors uh, associated with success or failure of the injections. So those are actually my indications for orthokin injections. I inject when I have cartilage damage grade three or four, it can be a focal damage or diffuse damage of the knee. It can be with or without bone edema or bone cyst. And I didn't take care, I didn't care whether we have meniscal tear or not. So we did all the injections in Ramat Aviv Medical Center. They draw the blood and prepare the solution for me. So I found all the patients that I injected since uh, 2014. I'm using the Plexidoc software that collects data for me. And then to all those patients and uh, whoever didn't answer their questionnaire that was sent to them, they received a phone call. And they, they, that's a kind of a, my invention of a, like, how, how do you do survey? They have five very quick questions that patient can receive. The first one is pain improvement from zero to 100 degrees. So zero if there was no uh, improvement and 100% if the pain was uh, gone. Uh, satisfaction, the same, not satisfied, zero, very satisfied, very happy, 100%. Ask them, um, did you return to any kind of sport activity? Do you recommend the injections to a friend? And did you have a surgery after the injections? So th those are the inclusion and exclusion criteria. I'm, I included in the study only the injections. Uh, we had a minimal follow-up of six months and I excluded any kind of uh, rheumatic disease. I, I must say at the beginning that this study has limitations. Uh, it, it relies on a five-question survey. It's not a double-blind uh, study. Uh, it's not a validated score. Um, and we didn't compare the pre and post uh, uh, VAS for all the patients. So basically we had 47 patients, 21 females and uh, 26 males. The average age was 62, it was between 27 and 86. The follow-up was an average 14 months, between six months and almost five years. So let me show you the results. So I asked, did you have surgery after the procedure? So only three patients had surgery after the procedure. Two of them was total knee, and one of them was knee arthroscopy. Uh, did you return to sport? So most patients did return to sport after the injections, and seven did not. Ask them, did, do you, would you recommend the injections to a friend? So that was 70% of the patients said yes, I would recommend the injections, and almost 25% wouldn't, 26. So about the pain change, I divided it into uh, six groups. So the pain was completely gone, 100%, significant relief, Patients replied 70 to 90 percent, some relief 40 to 60 percent, mineral relief 10 to 30 percent, and no relief at all. So you can see that about 30 percent of the patient had the pain gone completely, 30 percent had the significant relief, another 30 percent some relief, minimal relief, and no relief. And I think you can see exactly which were the 75 percent who recommended the injections. Same thing about satisfaction. So, extremely satisfied, we're 30%, very satisfied, 23%, some satisfaction, 40 to 60%, minimal satisfaction, not satisfied at all, we're at 20%. So I want to show you five cases. I took some of the extreme cases, some of the people who had 100% success. So this is a 56 years old male, he had a previous uh, knee meniscectomy. Uh, he has locking and catching, he had some uh, sharp pain while he was uh, playing on the beach, a uh, mud uh, So you can see a uh, chondral damage over here, like grade four in the medial femoral condom and in the trochlea. And this guy uh, was followed up for a year and a half. The pain was completely gone. He was very happy. He do recommend 
the, the, the hundred is like a, it's a different. Okay. Uh, he do recommend the injections. Uh, he did return to sport, uh, play uh, tennis, and a uh, mat on the beach, and he did not have a surgery. Uh, that patient here is a 63 years old nurse. Uh, she also has a cordial damage on the uh, patella and the medial side, the medial compartment, uh, full diffuse damage. She was full up for 26 months. Uh, she was not happy. Uh, she didn't, didn't have any change of the pain. She wasn't satisfied. She does not recommend, and she had a total knee replacement after a year. Uh, those are another three patients, 55 years old Iron Man. Uh, so he, his MRI actually looks very much like the nurse that was on the previous slide. He has like a full cartilage damage on the medial uh, compartment. He also had minisectomy seven years prior to the injections. Um, and he also has some cartilage damage in the uh, patella. And he was extremely satisfied as well. Um, same thing, this uh, 50 years old female, she had gradual onset of pain. She did not have a previous surgery. Uh, she has a cartilage damage again in the patella and in the medial compartment. She has some bone cysts. Uh, over here, uh, that's also a grade four. And she's very happy. She's uh, two years and a half, and actually her husband just uh, finished the same set of injection, and uh, he said, I want to have the same results as my wife. Uh, this uh, 59 years old has uh, pain in both knees, he has cartilage damage and bone cysts in the patella. And again, 100% pain change and satisfaction. So, uh, do, do you think who is better, men or women? This is uh, Barack Segal's man. Men are better, actually, that's correct. Men are more satisfied, and men have better uh, pain change on average. Uh, but when I did the p-value, it wasn't uh, significant. I think the 47 people are not enough for that. So uh, this is the age differences. I compared the age differences uh, into groups, so you have the number of people over here in each one of the groups. And you can actually see that there is a huge difference between people between 40 to 60 years old and people between 60 to 80 years old. And this p-value was significant with p-value uh, around uh, 0.001. So I, I heard some of the oldest surgeons told me, you can give them oranges, it would be the same. Uh, so I just want to show you why I don't inject into hip joints on the same condition. So this is hip joint with grade 4 chondral damage, 5 patients, 4 of them had total hip replacement after a year. So I actually don't inject into hip joint with uh, chondral damage. It's a completely different uh, disease, it has different uh, forces in the joint. I don't find it uh, satisfying. Uh, so my conclusions are basically that people that have grade 3 or 4 chondral damage can enjoy what they can inject in around 75%. Uh, we can say that patients under six years old who are candidates for knee replacement can enjoy the uh, autocan injections, and uh, that's it. Thank you.